Okay, Joe, we've got the products picked out now that I'd personally like on this bow and ones that you feel, in your professional opinion, are gonna work for me and for this bow. Right. So we've kind of uh, diagnosed the problem. Now you're gonna go into surgery here and you're gonna put, put the implements on the bow and make this thing a fine-tuning shooting machine for me. We've got the, the Whisper Creek Sweet Demise bow in the press and you're gonna start out first with what? Uh, first, we're gonna level the bow. That's the fundamental of everything else that's going on it as far as your sight, uh, knock height, rest height, everything. Uh, so we're gonna put a level on the string here. Okay, we've got the bow level this way. Next thing I'm gonna do is put a laser. It mounts in the, the holes for your sight and that's how we're gonna set up the center shot on this bow. Okay. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is put the rest on. Okay, what I'm gonna do, Danny, with this laser is I'm gonna start with the laser on the center of the string and what we wanna do when we rotate the, the laser towards the front of the riser is have that on the center of the arrow. And then you'll tighten it in when we're, when we're sure that we're exactly straight and level. Right, okay. If you could see out to where the end of the arrow is, we're still on center all the way out, which tells me the front of this arrow going through the rest is in perfect line with the string. What's the next step here, the bow's nice and level? Right, the bow's nice and level, we've got the rest on, we've set the center shot, now we need to level the knocking point with the rest, uh, which is very important. Now with the knocks, um, traditionally you put the, uh, the knock of the arrow underneath the metal knock on the, on the string, but what we're gonna do here is have a loop. You're gonna have a, a string loop. I'm gonna let you try out a loop. Uh, I've seen a lot of slow motion photography on arrows being released uh, by some of the world's best shooters. Shooting fingers. Uh, Clipping on the string with your release, different types of uh, releases. By far, in my opinion, in a lot of the top shooters, a string loop on your string will torque the arrow and the knock of your arrow less than anything else you can shoot. Well, I'm willing to give it a try. I've shot okay. fingers before. I've shot a, a release that was on the string before. I'm willing to try the loop. If you believe in it, I'm going to trust okay. you on that. Okay. This week's Outdoor Icon Tip of the Week is brought to you by CW Wholesale Molding and Millwork Outlet. What do we have this week, Dan? Well, Rob, our tip of the week this week is, is to make sure you get the arrow where it's supposed to go. That's the goal of this whole archery thing. You want to put the arrow in the right Kill location in, inside of a deer. You want to hit the X in the, in the target. Yeah, that's the goal. It doesn't matter how fast your bow shoots. It doesn't matter how good your bow looks. If you can't put the arrow where it needs to go, you're wasting your time and you're doing a disservice to the animal that you're hunting. The proper kill or, or the uh, proper points. There are bows out there that are some of the older ones that shoot a lot slower. And hey, if you shoot this bow good and you can get that arrow where it needs to be 10 times out of 10, by all means, go ahead and keep using that. That's, if, that's if, my old bow right there, the old Thunder Flight. If you, uh, if you want to upgrade and get a little quicker speed uh, and you feel that you can be confident yep. with the high technology equipment today, then go ahead and use that. For some guys, the crossbow is the way to go. Yeah. Um, the crossbow is gonna make a clean, efficient, quick kill. And uh, some guys have shoulder problems. Some guys are in situations where they can't draw a bow back or they don't have the, the area out of a blind to mm -hmm. use it. So you use the proper thing for the right situation. But the best tip we can give the viewers out there is whatever you're gonna use this bow season, make sure you practice with it, make sure you're proficient at it. And please don't go in the woods with something you're not gonna shoot straight and accurate. Get yourself something that will or fine tune your skills so that you hit the target. That's a good tip then. So today's tip of the week brought to you by CW Wholesale Molding and Millwork Outlet. This Outdoor Icon Show Factoid is brought to you by First Metropolitan Mortgage. Stay tuned, the Outdoor Icon will be right back. Okay, your loop is on, the rest is on. 
Next thing we're gonna do is put the site on. What I'm gonna do here, Danny, is put a little bit of wax. Uh, this is just bowstring wax okay. on the threads of your screws. And what this will do is keep them from working loose on you. Uh, you still get a lot of vibration and shock when you shoot. And short of putting Loctite or anything that's gonna be permanent, a little bit of wax on your threads will keep things tight and from loosening up on you. Also works on your field points when you screw them into your arrows. We chose to go with the sword AccuSight here. And I like the fiber optics, I like the orange. I think it's a good, good sight. I think I'll be able to see in low light conditions for that early morning hunt or that, that last half hour of legal shooting time. Um, this sight seems to work pretty well for that. Should do a good job for you. Okay, your sight's on. Next thing we're gonna do is put your peep sight in here and we're gonna have you draw back the bow, see how everything fits. We're gonna adjust that peep sight so it's right where it needs to be. Okay, Denny, I think we got about everything on there. We've got the rest, the sight. We've got the peep adjusted to the right height for your eye. We even threw a kisser button on there to make sure that I knock in the same point every time. Mm -hmm. So I know uh, when I'm at full dry, I know I'm in, in the right spot. And we threw the quiver on there to hold the arrows. Uh, and I think that, so it's that kisser go. button's a good idea for you, especially since you're going from a primitive setup to something modern, it'll... Every little bit helps. Yeah, that kisser button will get that anchor point the same for you every time till you get used to the bow. And just like the peep sight, it adds one more point to make everything consistent when you shoot. And that's really the key to being a good shot with this bow is everything consistent as far as the way you stand, the way you draw, the way you anchor, right. and the way you release the arrow. We'll throw a sling and a little bit of a stabilizer, but we need to pick out some arrows. And I know there's a difference between the, the thickness and the wall diameter um, on these arrows, but I'm a, I'm a little bit lost at these new carbon arrows that fly a little smoother, a little straighter, and a little quieter. Okay. What I did was pick out these carbon force arrows for you, and like I was telling you, the aluminum arrows, there were so many choices, so many sizes, and a lot of times it was recommended to buy four or five different arrows and basically field test them and see what shot best out of your bow. Right. Uh, a carbon's gonna be a lot more consistent for you once you get the proper spine. Uh, these are, as I told you before, the carbon is a lot easier to determine the right arrow you should be shooting and each manufacturer has a different number. Uh, these are 300s okay. and what that'll do is cover from a 55 pound to a 70 pound bow, which is you fall into with this range and with your draw right. length. Uh, I think these will do a good job for you. Okay. They're a radial weave carbon, they're a tough arrow. Now these, do we have to cut these down and everything like we did with the old yeah. arrows? What we're gonna do is have you draw the, draw the bow back and we're gonna get them about as short as we can. Uh, the shorter, the lighter, the flatter shooting they'll be. Okay, put a little mark on there, Denny. You could let the bow down nice and easy. And that's where we're gonna chop them off for you.